morning guys welcome to today's video today is saturday and we are headed out sam had an amazing thing happen to him this morning what happened sam tell them tell them sam stuck in the stalls and penny decided to come visit me so i gave her a carrot oh so you guys know i told you guys before that penny is not a lover of men and she never has been and even though sam does morning chores on weekends and has done it like so many times she's never really been super friendly with him because she just doesn't like men. Today, he, she just showed up to visit him and so he gave her a carrot. I love that, I love that. She didn't let me touch her though, but she let me give her a carrot. Yeah, that's so funny, but anyway. So uh, today, I have a package I am going to mail out. I uh, was talking to this young girl the other day and she was telling me about how she has how she's showing for the first time this year and that she's paying for everything herself and trying to do everything herself and um, I decided to send her some of Gabby's show clothes that she doesn't wear anymore because they're still in fabulous condition and this girl is showing for the first time and I'm excited for her and you guys remember back when we first started showing our very first show season a really nice girl sent us so many show things and so now I'm gonna for now I'm going to pay it forward and send her a show outfit and wish her the best show season ever. I loved our first year showing. I loved her second year showing. Like, especially when you're starting out, it's such an amazing part of your journey getting to go to a heart show. So I wish her luck. I hope you guys wish her luck. I'm gonna mail this out and hope it gets to her before her very first show. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys something. We just dropped off the package for the young girl who's showing and they were giving away these books. This is a telephone book. Do you guys yeah, see it? We got one in the mail. Oh, did we get one in the mail? I didn't see it. It's like, it's everybody's phone number that has like a landline. And then at the front, it has all the business phone numbers. Years ago, what would happen is that every year, you'd get a telephone book at your house and it would be this thick because everybody had landlines. That's just like a regular home telephone. And it would be this thick, so big. Every year it would be bigger and bigger and bigger. It got so huge. And then when cell phones became popular, they kind of are going out of style. And now it's this, it's only just this big. That's only businesses now. No, there are actual people too. Oh, is there? Yeah. No. Oh. Because that's only like this area. Like, yeah. Every area has a phone book. Yeah, but anyway, isn't that so interesting? Like how that works? how things change and then things totally go out of style and like even full businesses go out of style like life changes so fast and you can't even believe how fast it will change so it's so important to it just makes you realize how important it is to like love the life you're having right now because you never know how it's going to change we are home and it is hot as heck last night sophie had a dream that we had two baby chicks under the mom. You guys saw, I showed you guys that she only hatched one and she had like a bunch of eggs. So we're gonna go check. So we got twins. We got twins, you guys. So it's been days. This is an Easter egg. -er. Yeah. Oh, and an Easter egg. -er. That so looks like the dad. And that is like the mom, maybe coaching. It's been days since the first chicken hatched. This one. Yeah, this is the first one. And then Sophie had a dream that we had two baby chicks. And then we came to check. Look at it. It's got a stripe down the top of its head. That is adorable. They are adorable. Like, that is a cute little chicken. You're so cute. <laughs> what do you guys think? Sophie's just wing checking it. <laughs> it already has a tail. <laughs> Adorable. That's the one that was born a few days ago, Thursday. And here, this one's born two days later. And they look similar. You can tell this is an Easter egg, which means it'll lay colored eggs. They might be scared to be with us. And you can tell because it's got puffy cheeks. You want to know how I can tell that she's a girl when she's an Easter egg? How can you tell she's a girl? These wings aren't much sh uh, long, shorter than these ones. Yeah, and I can tell because when you stretch them out, there's three layers of 
wings. These ones, these ones, and these ones. And that but to me is a girl. She's yellow with brown on her wings and brown on her tail. Yeah, she's really cute. I'll show you my favorite one. So I really like this guy right here, this girl. She's What's my favorite. I know. I mean, we keep giving them she chicken updates. Picks on the baby. And people keep telling me I don't want chicken updates, but I can't help it, you guys. This is what we're into. And look at this little baby one. That remember the little chipmunk one? That's not that's Teddy. Yeah, that's Teddy. Remember he was so tiny? And that's him now, Mr. Teddy Bear. Look, just look at the ground. Look how pretty she is. Yeah, she's so pretty. All right, let me find you my favorite. Let me find you my favorite. He used to be my favorite, or she used to be my favorite, but now she's not. So we have four that we're keeping over there. And then we have all the little babies, and they're all integrated together and happy together. Uh, let me show you my favorite. So this is my favorite one. Not you, go away. This one is my favorite one. I think it is the most beautiful little chicken. Look at how cute it is. It's gonna be pure white probably. You can see like even the feathers aren't going to be a different color. So let's see if it's a boy or a girl. Sophie and I spend so much time doing this. Don't poop on me. Don't poop on her. So what do you think it is? I think that's a boy. Yeah, I think it's a boy too. Because see these feathers here? It doesn't make much sense, but they're really the same length. And usually if it's a girl, the bottom feathers are way longer. And so my favorite one is a boy, but there are more favorites, you guys. We're only keeping a couple chipmunk. of chickens. So uh, this is a girl. This is chipmunk number two, and it looks just like the new baby ones. And this is definitely a girl. It's got the three layers of feathers and see the difference in the length of this one and this one. And see how these are not much different. Yeah, and we've been really good at sexing them so far. Chipmunk looks like a chipmunk. It's a gray one. All right, so this is a gray one. And it is do totally a boy. You think it's a boy? Yeah. I think it's a girl. Look See, at the difference. One, two, and then up here it's starting to grow three. I know, but look at the difference between the size of these feather, these feathers, and these feathers. Yeah. It's really hard to tell with Easter eggs. Um, Easter eggs. hybrid chickens which is which. But See, anyway. those guys just eat on the top of that. We got a lot of black Easter eggers, and we got some some silky. Chipmunk's the friendliest. Yeah. Sizzles. Yeah, we got some sizzles back there. Sizzles are curly chickens. Sizzles don't like curly hair chickens, and I think they're boys, and I'll show you why. So these are the ones that we really, really, really wanted. They're curly haired chickens, and they, they're called frizzles, but these ones are like silky frizzles, so they're silkies. But anyways, if you look at them, so here, sizzles. hold him. So the reason I think this is a boy is because boys get these things on their head. Girls have nice, smooth heads and this guy has those sticky up things and that's sticky usually up a things. boy. That's a fun word. You know and what? both of them have that. So, oh there's the other one. It's no, no, that's not him. The other one is over there. You guys see it? The sticky up things? Sticky up things. Yeah, that usually means it's a boy. Uh -huh. So this is happening. I love it. We're getting ready for a big celebration and party next next weekend you guys know that it is well you might not know but in Canada we have a big holiday coming up next weekend and I'm gonna have people over we're gonna have a big huge bonfire and we're gonna have a sleepover in our trailer so Sam's getting it up and getting it ready recently I shared with you guys that we went to order a new chicken coop a bigger chicken coop to incorporate all of our chickens and we just have these little ones here now right now four we have four in there so we ordered a chicken coop and it's not coming until October or November. What'd they say, Sam? November. November. So we have to wait all the way till November to get our new chicken coop. They're building it for us. So I have a plan to make this one a little bit bigger for them while we wait for this summer. You guys saw that Sam and his dad built us this little tiny part of the coop here. I haven't really used it because there's no lid, there's no roof on it. And the chicken one of the chickens flew out and so we haven't used it but i know they would love to be in this grassy area and it would make, make things just like a little bit bigger for them for this this summer so i figured out a plan oh uh, one of my friends put a netting over top of her chicken coop so that it kept the chickens from jumping out and kept things from getting in it's not like a super 
uh, strong netting, but she has this netting on. I love it. I love how it looks. I love everything that she did with it, so we're gonna try it. Sam went to get zip ties, but basically, it's gonna look like this on top of our chicken coop. And it's not gonna keep like bird poop from going in there from like wild birds, which is super annoying because I wanna protect our chickens from the bird flu. So this is what it looks like so far. I actually like it, it's green. And yeah, our chicken coop is a homemade mess of stuff. But I like it, I like rustic stuff. I like homemade stuff, even though it's kinda ugly. <laughs> But it's okay, our chickens don't care. They just care that they're gonna get to get in the grass. <laughs> so again, I wanted to reiterate why I love this spot for our chicken coop. Yeah, it's because we have all these trees and they can be shady. Can be shady in the summer. All right, hold on. There, are, yeah, go ahead, release them. Just leave their door open and we'll come out at night. Lock them in. Did you guys know if you paint all this fencing black, you won't see it? Wow, look at you! I actually really like having a rooster because he really takes good care of our hens. You see how, like, they were so different. Suddenly a man shows up and they're all, like, weak and... Helpless. Helpless. Help me! Help me, kind sir! Show us what to do! <laughs> What do you think? <laughs> I put a little perch over there, a little board there. Uh, so uh, you guys probably know, but chickens are really good at clearing land. So they'll eat all these weeds and tear them down. So that white chicken there, she looks like a Brahma cross, but she's an Easter egg or Brahma cross. See her big chubby cheeks? Hi. <laughs> Lots of bugs, they're eating all the bugs. This is such a fun day for me, you guys. Comment below, besides horses, what other animal or pet makes you feel, gives you great satisfaction at being able to spend time with them and take care of them and see them have more space to move around. I really wanna get all of our big rocks and put them along here. I've seen chicken coops done like that before, but this is not our forever chicken coop, so I don't wanna, waste my time with that. I'll spend more time when we get our new coop it's to forest. make it look we pretty. We let it grow out so much. Yeah, but they like it. That's what chickens like. They doubled their chicken coop overnight. <laughs> you might have to look for eggs out here. So this is the inside of the trailer. I'm gonna have to get all of our, um, I'm gonna have to come out and get it all cleaned up for next weekend. Wash everything down. Next week, I am going to go and buy like a bunch of sheets and blankets for the trailer and keep them in there because in the past, we've just brought out our own blankets and pillows and stuff. I bought a bunch of pillows already, but I'm going to go and get a bunch of sheets and blankets that can stay in the trailer. Don't you know that you're beautiful?